Welcome to Art of the Picture Book. My name is Miss Angie and I work here at the Lexington County Public Library System. Today I'm going to show you an art method called Scratchboard. It is used in illustrating many children's books, including the one I will read to you today called Blue on Blue, written by Diane White and illustrated by Caldecott award-winning artist Beth Crumbs. As I read this book, pay close attention to the beautiful Scratchboard illustrations. And after we read the book, I will show you how to make your own scratch board using a few ingredients that you probably already have lying around your house. So you can experiment, make your own scratch board, and have a lot of fun. I will be reading Blue on Blue with the generous permission of Simon and Schuster. Blue on Blue, written by Diane White, illustrated by Beth Crumbs. Cotton clouds, morning light, blue on blue, white on white. Singing, swinging outdoor play, white on blue on sunny day. Clouds swell, winds blow bolder, weather changes, air grows colder. Gray on gray, dark and glooming, black on black, storm is looming. Thunder, lightning, raging, pouring, rain on rain, on rain is pouring. Streaming, gushing, racing, rushing, rain on rain, on rain. Pounding, hounding, noisy sounding, dripping, dropping, never stopping. Never stopping, dripping, dropping. Rain on rain on rain. Then, winds shift, drops, drip, drip, drop, drip, drop. Slowly, 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 stop. Sun sneaks back warms the air. Muddy, muddy everywhere. Sun sets. Time to go. Moon rises, golden glow. Glitter stars, twinkling light. Black on gold, on silver night. The end. Thank you, Simon and Schuster, Diane White and Beth Crumbs. I'm going to show you how to make your own scratch board. First, gather your supplies. I used heavy paper like cardstock, maybe watercolor paper if you have it, some crayons, dishwashing soap, black acrylic or temper paint, India ink if you have it, a paintbrush, a small bowl to mix the paint with, and finally something to scratch the paint off your paper, um, a toothpick or a skewer, even a chopstick or a popsicle stick. Gather your supplies and put something down to protect your work surface. Also, don't wear your fancy dress clothes, you might get messy. Now take your paper and color all over it with the bright crayon colors. It doesn't matter how you color it, you can use a pattern or just scribble, but make sure you press hard and cover the entire surface. These are the colors that are gonna show through. I used about a dime size drop of liquid soap in the small bowl and regular folk art craft acrylic paint and mixed it up with my paintbrush. Mixed it up very good and you don't have to be exact, just enough to cover your paper twice. Now take your paintbrush and paint all over the 
colors. <laughs> yes, you want to cover every single surface and wait for it to dry. <sighs> Boring. Now what? Oh, I got an idea. I'll use my hair dryer. Dry the paper or wait for it to dry and put a second coat over it. Make sure that everything is completely covered. Now comes the fun part. So I took the tool, I used a skewer, and I drew my masterpiece. The more paint you scratch off, the more colorful your picture will be. I tried different techniques. I really enjoyed making my own scratch board. I used crayons covered with paint, like here. Da, 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 da. A smiley sun face. But you can also use oil pastels if you have them. That's kind of an artist crayon. You can cover it with paint or you can cover it with even more crayons. I used a black crayon over my other crayons. That was harder. It took more time, but if you don't have paint at home, you can definitely do that. Well, I hope you enjoyed trying this art project at home. If you do, take a photo and tag Lexington County Library System 